Hi everybody, it's Dr. Modi Chowder back again for another hoot. It's the first video in two weeks. Again, I apologize, kind of difficult times in Israel, as you can imagine. Uh, in the channel, it's quieting down. We're in the uh, end of the summer, like summertime, where we still have some pigeons breeding. Uh, the griffin vulture nestling fledged, but he's still around, which is really exciting. Uh, many other things in our two cams in Florida, we have uh, at least one pair uh, court in, in courtship and in, in the other box there's a male looking for a female so lots and lots of great stuff going on if you like this content don't forget to subscribe let's get into it we're here in our favorite griffin vulture nest uh, with the two handicapped parents here they're waiting the nestling fledged he's about 125 days old now uh, we had a little bit tough we a couple weeks with him. He was actually sick, and because of our amazing uh, uh, moderators and, and viewers, uh, uh, he was treated. He had a parasitic uh, uh, infection. He was brought to the hospital, treated, and brought back. So this is a case of how our viewers, this YouTube channel, is actually able to help conserve wildlife. In this case, it's beautiful griffin vulture nestling you can see there he received wing tags as a gps tag also there he goes jumps out of the nest and the parents immediately go back to the nest when he goes out and they start courting each other it's very common beautiful there's his wing tag now the wing tags don't hurt the vultures they're for their conservation and protection so we can identify them in addition to the gps tag the is our nature parks authority do an amazing amazing job and this guy's just so cute he's coming back and forth in the nest here's the parents trying to do something private I uh, can say very, very private even, but uh, whoops, it, the little nestling's not having it. Broke it up, come feed me. I'm more in interested in myself than you guys. Really super cute, cute nestling. Such a success story, these handicapped vultures. So go inside, watch this cam. You can see me at the feeding station and also still in the nest sometimes. What beautiful birds, what super success story. We're in uh, Barnow, uh, Florida, cam number one. There's a pair courting intensely, doing a lot of the poochie moochie, the preening of the feathers. There's all, all, all done as part of courtship. Before the breeding se season, the pair shows each other that they're dedicated. Uh, and whoops, here comes another barn owl comes outside. Uh, no threesomes with these barn owls, so they immediately show this f foreign intruder out. That's their box. They're going to protect it. That's also part of the courtship as they show that they're a team together and they will protect each other. Typically, males fight males, females fight females in a courtship period. And they're doing lots of calling. What just unbelievable, beautiful, beautiful uh, birds. And again, poochie moochie all around, kissing and a lot of preening. So entering the uh, Florida barn owl cam number one, there's lots of great stuff going on. Also in Florida barn owl cam number uh, two, there's a male, uh, he's trying to, the female disappeared or something, I'm not, I haven't been exactly on it, but it looks like he lost his female, so he's looking for a female, for a mate, so doing lots of calling, let everybody know that he's there, uh, lots and lots of calling, so hopefully maybe this previous female will come back, or if not, he'll find another mate. Uh, this is common and it's something that happens very frequently. So we're in uh, Israel Common ca uh, Kestrel Camera. They start off the week, two pigeon squabs. This is their for for fourth uh, brood of the year. Previous one was actually predated by uh, Minor, killed by Minor. And luckily this time the two squabs uh, doing extremely well. Growing up, look at how they're driving. Uh, the parent crazy to be fed, really, really cute. Uh, these pigeons get a great respect for pigeons from watching these cams. Uh, just dedicated parents, and, and as I said, there's a fourth brood of, of for this camera. And actually, in the Israel Bonau uh, uh, cam number four, they, I think there's even there six clutches they laid. Some of them didn't succeed, but uh, they just breed multiple, multiple times. Uh, these guys are really, really hungry and they need to be fed a lot. That's why both parents have to go and feed and they leave them. And that's kind of dangerous. Intruders, uh, pigeons can attack them. And obviously minors can attack and unfortunately even kill them. Those are the main uh, dangers. I, I guess a, a predator could come, a kestrel, but we really haven't seen that yet in our, our, our cameras. 
So they both fledged in um, the uh, one you can see more frequently than the other, coming around, begging for food, going on the box to the parents. Um, you know, these guys are still dependent on their parents even after they fledge. As you can imagine, it's, uh, fledging is very, very dangerous. They have to learn to survive. And also, at some point, the parents will kick them out too because the parent will be, they're more interested in breeding again. So they'll feed this, uh, fl these fledglings, but at some point, they will kick them out. That's the way nature is. And then they'll have to survive themselves. Uh, typically, they move on to a flock. They find a flock of, of pigeons they hang around with. Uh, so that way, they can forage together and not be on themselves. So uh, these pigeons are just so, I, really, really interesting. Uh, lots of fun to watch them. Here's a case, the parents come back, the fledgling obviously wants to be fed, but as you can see, the parents are more interested in dancing and courting. Uh, it's amazing how they get right back into their courting one another, uh, and eventually once this goes through, once they uh, convince each other, they will lay eggs. In uh, Israel Banal, camp number four, there's been some intensive fighting. There's two squabs there. Uh, still, we have the pairs outside that want to breed inside. Uh, look here, the case, the parents are preening on top of their two cute little nestlings. But lots of fighting. There's a case of a female actually entering in the box. One of the uh, females on top of the box entering, getting trapped in the box and seriously injured by being attacked repeatedly by the adults and was not able uh, to escape. But the parents are doing a great job. This is, as I said, the sixth clutch. Not all the clutches succeeded. Uh, and here, the case, look at how beautiful how the pigeon feeds not only one, but even sometimes two at the same time. These little guys are really, really hungry. But this is definitely the drama box of the of the uh, all the nest boxes cameras. Uh, and we have a uh, hula cam number one. The the end. Look at how cute this is. You got a mother uh, boar, and she is not alone. Look at her strutting her st stuff. It looks like some uh, ducks below her, and she is not alone. One second, you'll see who comes after her. Here you go, two little baby wild boars running after. Her. So I really hope you like this video, a little bit shorter, not as much going on in the summertime. It's hot for the birds and also for us. Uh, thank you very much for watching. All your timestamps uh, help us tremendously. If you like this content, in Ken, uh, if you can help donate, I put a link in the description. Again, thank you so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment. If you're not already, please subscribe. Keep on watching. Hoochie later.